Swedish energy giant Vattenfall says that the 100 turbines should provide enough electricity for up to 240,000 homes. Energy Secretary Chris Hewn told Sky News, We are determined to create more of our own energy within the United Kingdom. This will make us safe from the shocks that we have seen in the past oil markets and gas markets. This is good news for consumers and businesses. Construction work at the 780 million pound wind farm, which lies seven miles off Foreigners Point in Tarnet, began two years ago. The 300 feet tall turbines are spread over an area of more than 22 square miles and are visible from the shore on a clear day. The National Energy Board said on Monday that it broadened the scope of its Arctic offshore drilling review to reflect public input in the multi-phase processes. The board's review will address environmentally safe drilling practices, effective emergency responses, lessons learned from the Gulf of Mexico deepwater drilling disaster, and filing requirements for companies. As national regulator, the NAB will examine information on the hazards, risks and mitigation measures associated with offshore drilling in the challenging waters of the Canadian Arctic. Moving on, outgoing BP Chief Executive Tony Hayward has promised his company will be investing up to 19 billion US dollars in the North Sea in the next five years. Hayward was appearing before an Energy and Climate Change Committee in the UK House of Commons as part of an investigation by members of Parliament into the implications of the Gulf of Mexico oil spill back in April. Hayward said despite the disaster, BP's investment plans for the North Sea were unchanged and that the company still intended to invest up to 19 billion US dollars in the UK oil sector by 2015. That's all for the news making ways as of now. Thank you for watching.